continuing from my last video, this is where we stopped. We plotted the parabola uh, with the critical points x intercept negative 3, 0, 1, 0. Uh, the y-intercept was 0, negative 3, and the vertex was negative 1, negative 4. Now, these are enough. Now, I just want to show you one more thing about uh, a parabola, where uh, it is to show the axis of symmetry. Now, axis of symmetry is a line which passes through the vertex. So, I'll draw a dotted arrowed line across it. This is the line of symmetry, okay? Now, what does that mean? Uh, let us look at some other points which, which are very interesting. Now, if you look at, uh, this is the basic parabola, y is equal to x squared, which has moved from zero, means the vertex. Uh, so, let me show you what I mean is. Let me highlight this. Uh, uh, copy. And I'll paste it here. Okay, now it's supposed to now this is what I mean. This is the basic uh, basic parabola y is equal to x squared. Now this parabola has has moved one across and two down. Okay. Now so delete. So if you want to plot a few more points, now this line is symmetrical. So if this point, that is the y-intercept, is one away from the axis of symmetry, you have one more point. You can plot this point. I'll use my pen to plot this point. So what I mean is, this point is a point on the parabola. That means this point is negative 2 negative 2, negative 3 is a point because the, uh, your y-intercept is 0, 3, 0, negative 3, which is 1 away from the line of symmetry. So this point is also 1 away from the point of uh, line of symmetry. Now, if you look at these two points, the x-intercepts, they are halfway, uh, they are equal, they are Suppose this is 1, 2 away from the line of symmetry, and this point is 2 away from the line of symmetry. So, basically, uh, these two parts are uh, a reflection of each other with the middle line, the line of symmetry. Okay. So, let us check this. So, the equation that we had, so let us go back. What was the equation? The equation was x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, uh, let us graph this, okay, okay, uh, mm, sorry, okay, so let me delete this, uh, sorry, okay, so yeah, so the equation is y is equal to x squared x uh, squared plus 2x minus 3. Let us graph this. Oh. Okay, I'll change the scale. Uh, zoom in. Oh, it's not very clear, so I will uh, use the graphic calculator to draw this. Uh, let us get the graphic calculator. Okay. So the equation was, let us go to graph, was x squared plus 2x minus 3. And let us graph it. So this is, so let me scroll it up. Okay. So the x-intercepts are called the roots. So g solve the one root. One root we saw, one root is negative 3, 0. And if you press this, you'll get the other root. Okay, so confirmed. The y-intercept is under F4. The y-intercept is 0, negative 3. That's also confirmed. And then uh, you can look at the minima, which is the vertex, which is negative 1, negative 4. Okay, so let me close this. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, where were we? Okay, yeah, so this was uh, our equation. So let us do one more example. Okay, so the next example, uh, let me scroll down. Okay, now the next example is, okay, so the next example is already in the factorized form. So this is called factorized form, and this is called the quadratic form. So from the factorized form, you can write the x-intercept. So now I'm going to do it faster. So the x-intercept, I'll look at this and say, when would this become zero? Okay, so we know for x-intercept, y has to become zero. So basically what we're doing is we are thinking zero is equal to x plus two times x plus four. Okay, and now you have to think like this. If x plus 2 is a number and x plus 4 is also a number so when would two numbers multiply to give you a zero okay so we know that if two numbers multiply and it gives you zero each of them or either one of them has to be zero okay so i can say okay this when when would this become zero so that is when x is equal to negative 2 so that is one x-intercept. So you write like this, minus 2, 0. This is where the graph would hit the x-axis, one point. And then would this become 0? So I can say, okay, this becomes 0 when x is negative 4. So this is the second point where the graph will hit the x-axis. So that's why it's called the x-intercept, where it intersects the x-axis. Okay, so that is... Uh, for the x-intercept. Now for the y-intercept, I call this the y-intercept form, or this is called the quadratic form, okay, or uh, uh, not factorized form. So to get the y-intercept, what we do is, you have to set x is equal to 0. So I'm thinking, if x is 0, what happens to the equation? Okay, so if x is 0, this becomes 0, okay, this also becomes 0, because 0 squared is 0, and 0, and 6 times 0 is also 0, so you are, uh, you end up with only 8, okay, so the y-intercept is 8, that means that's where the graph will hit your y-axis, so it is 0, 8 is your y-intercept. Okay, now for vertex, you have to write this in perfect square. Okay, so here what I've done is, uh, I should delete that, and I should write a minus. Okay, so it should look like this. So this is x squared. What I've done is, let me delete this. Okay, so this form this form and this form are the same. So what I've done, I've added 9 and taken away 9. By this, I have made this a perfect square. So I hope by now you understand what's a perfect square. Half of negative 6 is negative 3 and square of 3 is 9. Okay, so I'll repeat it again. 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And then you square negative 3, it gives you 9. So this becomes a perfect square of x minus 1 squared, and oh, I should this should be plus 8 here, okay, because you've got a plus 8. And negative 8 plus, negative 9 plus 8 gives you negative 1. So the vertex in this case, in this situation, is this vertex tells me the parabola has moved 3 to the right. And this minus 1 tells me the basic parabola y is equal to x squared has moved 3 to the right. And so I can show the notation like this. It has moved 3 to the right and 1 down. So this arrow shows the basic parabola y is equal to x squared has moved 3 to the, three to the right and 1 down. So the vertex would be 3 comma negative 1. Okay, 
So let us plot those points. I've already got a parabola ready to. So which are the critical points here? So the x-intercepts are, let us go back, which are the x-intercepts? Negative 2 and negative 4. So let me highlight. So this is your negative 2 and negative 4. Okay. And your y-intercept is 8. Okay. And your vertex is 3. This is 3, negative 1. So it is, say, somewhere here. So let me drag this. Okay, so I may have to make this a bit bigger. So let me slightly make it bigger. And drag it here. Hopefully it will select sit exactly. Yeah, here we go. So this is the best I can do. Okay, I hope you understand. So the x-intercept, so let me show the points. Okay. Drag this, drag this down, and this is the point. Okay, so the x-intercept, I have shown the points, the x-intercept, y-intercept. So let us let me draw the line of symmetry. This is the line of symmetry. Okay, and you can plot one more point if you want. Uh, this is, say, 1, 2, 3 across. So you can, this graph is not exact. Okay, the, if this point is 1, 2, 3, this graph should pass through this point, okay? Or negative 6, 8 would be a, a negative 6, 8 would be a, a point on the graph. Okay, I'll show that, show you that on the graphic calculator. So let us write the equation, menu, graph. So let us write the equation. The equation was bracket x plus 2 close bracket x plus 4 okay and let me make a bigger scale scale of 10 by 10 would do okay here we go so yeah so let us check the roots are the x intercept one is negative 4 and the other is negative 2 okay the minimum is negative 3 negative 1 that sorry negative 3 yeah negative 3 uh, negative 1 yeah and uh, the y-intercept is 0, 8, okay? And I told you negative 6, 8 is a point. So let us confirm that. G solve and go y-calc. y-calc. When x is negative 8, sorry, negative 6, I'm asking what is my y-value. Here we go. When x is negative 6, y is 8, okay? So let me do one more question. To finish this off okay i'll do this in the next video thank you very much